What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're finally replacing the shell on this Game Boy Advance that I bought to flip for profits. You can't really see on video in person, it's way worse, but there's a lot of scratches on it, a lot of chunks out of it as well. It looks like a dog was chewing on it. Flipping it over here, it did have the battery uh, cover replaced, however it's broken, it's missing the clip here to keep it attached. And then it also had the old batteries inside, which obviously uh, did rust it out, and it looks just heavily damaged. So this one here, I'm not going to be replacing the shell to flip it for profits. This is going to be staying in my personal collection, so I went with this nice transparent purple. It's not the atomic purple, because I liked this one more, I decided to go with this one. If you are buying a shell and replacing your Game Boy Advance shell, make sure you get one that has the tri-wing screwdriver included. This one has all of the button pads, all of the buttons, screws, the screen, even the sticker to put on the back, which is really cool. So make sure you get one that includes everything. So this is very easy to do. The only thing that you will need to supply usually because they don't include it is a small Phillips head screwdriver because there is, I think, a few screws on the motherboard that you need that screwdriver for, plus the one that's under here for the battery cover, or underneath the battery cover, which I've already taken out. So we're gonna get started here. So the first thing you're gonna do is remove all of the screws around the shell, and that you're gonna use the screwdriver that they provided, the tri-wing screwdriver. So just like that, we have the screws taken out of the shell. So there's six tri-wing and one Phillips head. So now once you have that done, you should be able to separate the two parts of the shell from the back and the front. Gently gets removed like that. So that is the back. We're going to put that to the side. And now this is what we have here. So in the motherboard here, I was right, there is the Phillips head here. And there is one on this side as well. So the next step is to remove those two screws. And then we also have this clip up here. That it's very hard to tell, but there is this clip on both sides. You basically push those tabs up on both sides and this ribbon cable will just come right out. So we're gonna do that next. We're actually gonna start with the ribbon cables here. So you choose a screwdriver, you can use your nail, but those tabs just go up like that. On both sides. And then it's just a matter of this ribbon cable sliding right out. Just like that. So now I've taken the screws out of the motherboard, the two Phillips head, and we're just going to pull it up here and take it out. That looks a little bit more damaged than I thought it was going to be under there. And there is a little bit of like water damage or corrosion that is in the motherboard, but I've already tested the motherboard and it does work for this, except for the speaker here doesn't fully work. So we're going to try to see if we can get it working. If not, just the volume is not going to work on this Game Boy. So next, I've just taken all of the buttons out of this just so they don't fall whenever I am lifting it up and maneuvering it. So the next thing is we're going to need this screen in here because we are keeping that screen. So we're not keeping the outside screen. We do have a replacement one for the new one. So we don't have to worry about that, but we do have to take this off and hopefully the gasket keeping it attached still works. Let's try to, oh, it just comes off pretty easily here. See this gasket we need to reuse for the new one. If it'll come off here, which it did pretty easily. So now we have everything on the old shell taken apart. Now we can start reversing the process and putting everything in the new shell, starting with the screen. So the first thing I did was remove that gasket from the screen and put it straight on the shell. Now I can just go and put that screen and attach it. Once you have the screen on here, you're going to turn it over and you're going to make sure that none of the gasket is showing on the screen, which it is not. Next, you're going to go and put all of the buttons, all of the grips, the sides, the triggers, all of the buttons and everything on to it. Next, we can go and attach the motherboard on to this. We're going to put it in and make sure that the speaker gets put down properly. You're going to attach the two screws to hold the motherboard down and you're going to put this ribbon cable back on and attach it to the motherboard. So the screws, again, to attach the motherboard to the shell are the Phillips heads. One here and one here. I did use the replacement screws that they did provide. So now I do have the cable in here. I'm just going to make sure it's pushed in snug. 
And then it's just a matter of clipping these little ends back down. So you're going to make sure that it's all the way down. See if I can get this side. Just like that. Oh, this one came back up on me. There you go. So you clamp those back down. And now you can put the other part of the shell on top and screw everything back down. So once you have the six tri-wing screws put in and the one Phillips head, you're now going to turn it over and you're going to put the new screen on to the Game Boy Advance. So we're going to go ahead and put it on here. You're just going to line it up and you're going to press it down. And then you're going to make sure you clean the screen. You're going to go around the edges like you would a screen protector because there's not going to be anything sticky on the part that is right here. It's just going to be the edges, kind of like the gasket was whenever you re reused the gasket. You're just going to make sure you press around the edges and then you'll clean the screen later at the end. The last step here before we test it is to turn it over and we're going to put this sticker on. So we have the sticker on. I just put two new batteries inside and put the battery cover on. We did toss in a game here. So we have Ice Age 2 and we're going to turn it on and we're going to make sure that it works. One thing that was not working whenever I first got the Game Boy was the speaker. There's absolutely no sound. So I think we might have got it working, but let's test it out here. We're going to power it on and you can hear the Game Boy. Now, I don't know if you can hear this uh, on video, but in person, the sound is pretty loud, which is awesome. And as you can see, it does work here. Now, it's not backlit, as you can see, whenever we aren't right close to the screen. But this is a perfect addition to my collection. The Game Boy Advance is super easy to replace the shell, as you've seen. You just need to make sure you have the tri-wing screwdriver. And you do have a small Phillips head, because most of the time, they aren't included. If you do get one that has everything included, it's even better. I want to make sure that you have the replacement screen, all of the buttons to make it look good. But I absolutely love this purple. Comment down below what you guys think. Is this a good one to choose? I think, in my opinion, this is the best one and a great addition to my collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.